Hello. More spell chess. Uh, this position already looks kind of goofy. Mm. Yeah, I don't like this already. No. I'll push d5, hope he takes. If he takes, I win. What? Why would you do that? Doesn't make sense. Okay. The problem with freezing me. Okay, so white's lost two pieces. And after queen e5, I push f6. Actually, no, sorry, queen e5. Um, queen takes queen. White's kind of busted. I wonder if bishop b5, I should go knight c6. I guess this gives me some kind of future counter. Huh. Everyone's playing so trappy now. Oh, hang on. I always forget this move exists. Yeah, white's busted. Last night I uh, tested uh, Bug House on Pie Chess, and uh, it's in the early stages, but it looks really good. The boards are the same size, so it kind of looks like Bug House Test used to look. Um, you can play 2v2, uh, 2v1, or 1v1. Um, and I asked about, you know, will the AI be there? Um, very stockfish. And it seems like it will be one day. So that's all very exciting. I guess there are a lot of people trying this variant. You know what's funny is that this knight is trapped, so it actually has nowhere to go. So I didn't even need to use a freeze spell.
Now, if I get bishop takes up to check it and can freeze him, he's busted. Oh, I have queen e5. This is, that's effectively just mate. Oh. I'm sorry, no it's not, because he can freeze my bishop too. Maybe I should have gone with queen e5. So he has to take this, I'll take the rook. Like, white is quite busted. I mean, it's okay if he wants to play on, because it might be his very first game. Thing is, I can give the queen here if I want. I should, I should have, oh wait, no. He, as long as his, um, as long as he can counter a free spell with a free spell. This is me. And part of the reason I'm... I guess I've gained almost 300 points is just because a lot of people are totally new to it. And that's good, but why are they not uh, staying around? Um, there is one player that I have been really struggling against, where he's beat me about four or five times. I've beat him once. Uh, very tough. Um, and a couple of those games, I was pressing, and then one time I flagged in a really nice position. Another time, um, I... Um, blundered in a really nice position. So, it was a little bit annoying. What happens here? Should I swipe the pawn? Can I really be that greedy? This, ah, okay, I, I think this is probably, can't be good. Hmm, he could freeze my queen and play, um, b3. I don't think he should freeze my queen and play, uh, d3, because then there's bishop b4, which, um, threatens to win. If queen c5, d4, frees, um, my position is a bit awkward, there's no doubt about it. I think I just bring the queen back and say, you can't attack me here and you can't castle. And, um, once he castles, bishop c5 is ineffective. Oh, I need to hurry up. Um, and here I am, not hurrying. Okay. Well, this was the this was a horrible move, but I just had to play something. He still can't castle. Um, 
Um, yeah, time, sometimes, there's no sound on here, too. I don't know why. Um, because it's giving me the, op the option to mute, but then I never actually have any sound to begin with. Yeah, my, my position is just so terrible. This might help me a bit because um, it frees up a square for my knight. Although I did end up letting white castle. I like to exchange these pawns and then the bishop prevents castle. So, this is uh, White's first mistake. Big mistake. Okay, white flag. Oh, I made 1800. Uh, I thought white played fairly well. Um, I guess like e6 and c6 is just really give. Oh, we got a 1700. Now, I don't really go in. I don't like early tactics in games. It's just. Like, unless I am convinced that it's very strong for me, I don't go in for it. Usually just to prefer to develop everything. I guess, like, sometimes when certain pieces come in later, that can be okay. I guess I'm worried about Queen E7, so that's why I did this. We'll see if it works. Now we can't go king c5. Um because of this. Let's try and rematch. Against a strong player like that, you know, he's seventeen hundred. I should offer to take black. Cause there is a bit of a first move advantage in this area. Not accept. We'll just carry on. I'll play a 10 minute. My rating is not as high because I haven't played as many games um, at 10 minute. What I'm starting to appreciate is how like the different variants that I play, like color, each of them colors how I play the others. 
could I guess I could win this. Oh, hold on. oh is he gonna go uh Queen H four? Okay, I think you know what, I wanna I wanna reserve that freeze spell. No, I mean, I guess I could have frozen it if Queen H4 would take the Queen. Um, and there's not really a way in. Now, if um, C6, I'm going to play D4 and then takes Queen E2, which is check. He's got to go king f8 here. Um, and then I could try uh, bishop g5. I disconnected. Oh, um, okay, so I win this one. If he plays king f8, it's not easy to find out what to do. Okay, I'm glad that didn't last the entire 20 minutes. Oh, there's a paradigm chess player who's rated 1800. Hard to find. Uh, there are some of these variants that I like on big boards. There was uh, Black Letter Chess. Um, I thought that was good. Um, XXL Chess just seemed poorly put together. Um, which is like, you know, why are they able to come up with a variant like this, but then they can't make a decent big board variant? Libertarian Dude. Okay. I kind of just like got over like e5, bishop c4, and getting sacked on. I was like, why should you get to have fun? I want to have fun. What's funny is I started playing this bug house opening <laughs> for this variant. It's going to be like, yep. to see what happens. Oh, sh I might have given it. Does he have Queen H5 coming up? Oh, maybe B5 was too silly. Okay, so I freeze the bishop. And move the. I've got to move the king. That's annoying. Maybe I freeze the queen. Yeah, I'm still I'm still not sure about a lot of these tactics. Oh 
Or I could go g6 and freeze the bishop. Yeah, maybe that's what I will try. I don't want my king running around like some kind of crazy person. And the reason g6, g6 is the only move that in advance puts two blockers on this diagonal. So how does white avoid losing the piece? Oh, you know what is a, a vicious move is rook takes h7. Well, I am forced to give up the queen. Queen for two minors. Now, the thing about queen for two minors in this variant. Wait, when did he use a jump spell? What am I missing? Oh, okay, so he used a jump spell. Okay, now here's the thing is that he used he used a jump spell to get um a queen for two minus. Um, but I I have more pieces that can use jump spells, and I also have one more jump spell. Oh. Oh. Uh, this is getting quite tough. No, has to just bring his knight back. The problem, he could have just taken this rook. So I think that my b5 move, um, just never worked. Uh, b5, I think, is just, you might as well consider it refuted. Now, he can play knight c3 be fine. And then I've got to figure out what to do about the rook, because I don't really want to trade rooks. I guess that puts me in a pin. But it does prevent castling. Yeah, this is probably just lost. But we'll see if he makes any mistakes. For instance, if knight e2, bishop takes, queen takes, I'll get the rook. Um, although, in that situation, he would also have rook takes rook. So, knight e2 might even just be fine. <laughs> Which means I'm pretty busted. I mean, I might try it. I could try it in the hopes that... Um, it gets me some land. So he's threatening to take the rook. He's also threatening queen takes f7. But I think that this is the only good try. Queen takes f7. Um, I'll have to play knight g7. Oh no, but if I play knight g7, there's queen f6 check. So, um, if queen takes f7, what do I do? Okay, so, if queen takes f7, knight e7, uh, 
queen f okay so he's he's going after the the rook here Now I could try knight d4 frees the queen, but then he'll play um, something and freeze the knight. Rook e7 might be the only move here. I'm, he might just force me to play awkward moves until I'm totally busted. Could try uh, if bishop e7, he takes the bishop. I take the rook. Comes out. It's not really clear what my best try is. I think I'm gonna go king e7, and actually the rooks defend one another. Okay, so he kind of walked into this. So I might be back here then. So I have uh, five pieces to his four, but I have uh, he has two majors. But I have a jump spell now. And I think I should be able to use that to win. I don't have to worry about him jumping anymore. So I can do this. I can threaten to take here and threaten to take here. And by my next move, that uh, jump spell will be back. Okay, he flagged, but I think that... Yeah, let's rematch, because he did better than anyone else. Well, almost anyone else. Um, so this this player is quite capable of beating me. I'm quite capable of losing. So I normally just play a sort of like Italian game slash Ponziani opening. I guess if next game he goes e4, e6, knight c3, a6, bishop c4, I don't go b5, because I wouldn't want to defend that again. <laughs> so if c3... Um, as queen h4 and freeze everything here, I would go, I think I can play this, um, he can play queen h4 and freeze me, but I'll go king f1 and freeze him. Or I could castle.
Right, so now his bishop is under threat, and he can't really threaten, like, queen g5 or something. He can't play queen g5. Um, he can't, he cannot jump this, um, bishop at g4, um, because then I could either, uh, take it by jumping, or I could simply take this one, and jumping and taking e2 is not, uh, taking d1 is not on the cards, because it, that spell needs to replenish. And actually, I lost a game against a 1400, because I resigned thinking I was totally busted, when he had nothing because he, he his uh, jump spell was not replenished. So I need to uh, keep an eye on that. I wonder if I'm threatening, like, bishop takes f7, king takes, knight takes e5, and he can't take. Uh, this can't work, because, well, this is check. I think I take and try and play queen e2. When I have bishop e5, I have queen e2 or rook e1. So he needs something that's very fast. Because I'm hitting two of his miners, and he's not hitting any of mine. Now, I could definitely be overlooking something, no doubt. Uh, I don't think I am, though. This can't work. And so I trade, even if I were just to take the knight, rook for knight plus a jump spell seems pretty big to me. And I could go queen e2 or rook f, rook, sorry, rook e1, rook e1 check, king f8. And I'm not, I think I just take it, keep my options open. Now, if he goes king f8 now, I will take his queen. So I think rook e1 threatening me force him to go king f8 and take the queen. I guess that would be bishop e6. There's a lot, a lot of text. There's a lot I don't see yet. Let's see what he does. It's good to, to keep the spells in reserve. So I didn't freeze um, all of his stuff, because then he would respond by freezing my stuff. So I wait for him to freeze my stuff first, then I freeze his stuff. Ah, so his, this is back. So I guess I miscalculate. Um, however, so I should have frozen this, oh no, 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 what am I talking about? You can't do two spells at once, I don't think. Um,
interesting. Tricky game. Um, I can tell that my opponent is working hard trying to uh, keep up with the tactics. He has no jump spell on that. So all I can do is freeze my stuff. So I guess I just win some material. Keeping the freeze spell in reserve. He almost flanked. What to do? Oh, he pre moved. Thing is, I have a jump spell now. So, I got it. Taking black again will be a challenge. Because I'll have to find an improvement over B5. Although it shouldn't be that hard, because B5 was so brazenly horrible. Um, I'm not really looking at people's ratings. Like, my rating dipped down about this low before I started figuring out how to play. So I don't think D4 is really working in this variant at all. Um, and this is just a forced checkmate. Queen H4 will come. All you can do here is give the queen and then move the king. So maybe I should have froze all this stuff just to uh, win one or two moves faster. Looks like I'm going to have to end the stream because the phone is ringing. 